Hey everyone, welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to explore about Test Replay feature. So Test Replay is a new feature which is introduced by Cypress in version 30. So with Test Replay, you can actually replay your existing test case. You can debug if there is any failure test case. And you also have an access to your DOM, your network tab and your console log. Can be integrated with CI CD also like GitHub Actions if you are running your test case on CI CD pipeline and is failing on CI CD pipeline. So with Test Replay, you can actually replay your test case and see exact failure where it is failing and you will also have an access to your DOM, your network calls. In the network tab, you can see which API is failing, where it is failing. So it will be more easier now to debug your failed test case or debug your clicky test case. How is it different from screenshots and video? So screenshots and videos were actually the captured data of an existing test case. But with a test replay, you can actually replay your test execution and check where it is failing. So now you will have more control over your DOM element. But all these features come in the Cypress cloud only so that we should learn how to configure Cypress dashboard. What is Cypress dashboard? It is basically a cloud platform which is offered by Cypress, which saves your test execution results. So you can access your test results with screenshots, with videos, and you can also configure it to run it for the flaky test case. It has multiple features and currently the version is three users and 500 runs. But if you want for, for more users or for more runs, then you have to go for a paid version. But it's really a good service which is provided by Cypress. And it also has an integration with Jira. In case you want to raise bug for the failed test case, you can do that also with Cypress dashboard. So now let's see how to configure Cypress dashboard and then we will learn test replay later on. So let's go to google.com and search for the Cypress dashboard. Okay. Now click on the first link. So like this is my first link and over here you can click on the free account. So as of now, the free account means free users and 500 runs. But let's say you're working in an organization where you would need more users or more runs, then you have to go to a paid version. So you can see the pricing from here also. What is the pricing and whatever suits you. But currently, let's see for the free account. Fine. So what you have to do, we'll create a new account. If you have an account, you can log in and click If you don't have an account, you can just click on sign up and click a create a new account over here. So I'll just sign up with Google. You can sign up with GitHub. They have multiple options. Do Google and you can select your email ID. Just pass your Gmail credentials and then it will be logging in. Okay. So I'm just, just using my Google account to sign up. And once you sign up, it will ask, it'll show you the screen and where it will ask you what's your name. Select the basic points over there and then click on continue. You can pass your organization name. Let's say I'll pass like this. If you're setting up for your company, you can pass your organization name and uh, other details we'll keep it as empty create organization we can skip it for now let's just skip it now you see it is also showing you this message over here introducing test replay when you installed when you configure dashboard what you have to do you have to copy this project id in your cypress.config.js so just copy this one go to your cypress.config.js so in our project we have this one and inside your module.export just paste this one fine so this is done now we can select next for which provider you want to do which ci cd let's select github actions for now and over here it has given you the configuration how you can run it because we have to pass this record key otherwise it will not record so what we will do we will just copy this one this one is for the github action setup let's just do it for the local now Let's see how it is working on local and then later on we will do it for CICD as well. Okay, so now we have copied this command. Let's go project and over here. So what you can do, either you can pass it directly, the command in your terminal, or you can pass this in your package.json also. So what we will do, we will just pass it in the package.json. Every time you have to run, you have to paste the whole command using the record key. So it's better we create a script in package.json and then reuse it. So what we will do, we'll create it to the new one so we can have record queue also. Fine. Now I don't need to pass this in my terminal. What I will do, I will just do npm run test and now it will be running it on my Cypress dashboard. You can see in parallel on the dashboard also. Let's go to dashboard and let's see. So let's, you see the workflow has started. So it's very simple, very easy. You just have to do some basic configuration. You have to pass the record key and you have to pass the project key because you can create multiple projects over there. So as of now, we created single project, but you can have multiple projects for that. We need to pass the project ID and then we have to pass the record key also, right? So now we can see it is running. And if I click on this, so now we can see this is my test case is executed and in our 
uh, terminal or a local machine, we can see one test case is passed and one case is failed. Because in the previous video, while trying to see for the failure test notification, we changed one locator in order to verify the failure test execution. Now also it's in one test case and failing the other one. So let's go back over here and let's see. So you see first test case register is passing and the second one is actually failing. Now let's click on this one and this green and red means these are the test execution status. Basically it is passed or it is failed, right? And over here, when you see the failed test case, you can see the video, you can see the screenshot. Let's click on the screenshot over here. So we can see the screenshot where our test case got failed, like this locator, it got failed. You can see zero occurrence. That means it was not able to find that locator. That's why it failed. And if you want to watch video also, you can just click on this and you can watch the video. So it is doing all the steps over there, what it is performing. It's searching for a text, right? And then it got failed. We have an assertion there. So this is about the video. So if you have a failed test case or if you have a past test case, you can see it over here. In, in case of past test case also, if you want to watch the video, we can watch the video. You just have to click on this and you see it is running step by step. So this was the case when we have Cypress version below 13 right we over here if i show you we don't have test replay but you see it is not available it is not supported in this version it is supported only in version 13. so what we will do we will upgrade the version to cypress 13 now and then we will rerun our test case and then we will see if test replay button is showing on so why they introduced test replay button because currently if our test case gets failed so we can just see the video or the screenshot right but in case of test replay we can also have the access to DOM to our network tab console or so in case if your developer is trying to fix any issue or if you want so they have provided us a more interactive debugging tool because if you want to inspect any element or if you want to see the console logs or DOM elements or you want to see the network tab also currently if you see over here we can't access any of these we can just see the screenshot or the video so you see it's just a screenshot and the videos but with the test replay we will see we can have access to our DOM elements we can have access to console log network tab everything would be now let's upgrade the version for upgrading the version what we'll do i'll just go to my package.json and over here i'll simply change it to 13.0 right so once you change it to 13.0 just do this npm install quickly so once this is done like this is done we have upgraded the version now i will just rerun the same test case i'll not make any changes i'll not do anything so it automatically comes with your cypress dashboard if you have access to your cypress dashboard if it is already configured you don't have to do anything so again we will run the script which is test so i'll run to my terminal and i will run npm run test right and now also it is running on the same uh, record key you see same record key this running and wait for it to complete and then then we can see our test replay button and on the dashboard okay now this is done let's go to our cypress dashboard and let's see the execution run for this one so this is my cypress dashboard and let's go to latest run and this is my recent run run number two and if i click on this but here we can see it is saying test add to cart test is failed and if i click on this test result we would see two test cases one is passed and one is failed and over here if i click on this one so you can see a new button which is test replay so inside the 13 version test replay comes by default like i mentioned but it is only for the chromium based browser if you're trying to run on firefox or webkit it will not be supported it's only for the chromium based browser and also the video by default it is made false in cypress version 13 you can change the setting but the watch video is made false over here so what we will do let's explore more about test replay let's click on test replay and now you will see we have network tab we have console tab we have inspect also so if you click on if we click on this we can see the same execution going on over here and on the network tab also we can see the network calls if we click on this we can see the request and response also you see the request and response what is the request and response in case you want to check for these network calls and over here also we can see there's one more feature so this red one and blue one blue means success and your test case got failed over here so it's very easy to debug to see where your, your test execution field you can just directly indirectly go to that part right let's say we know till here it was passed and red means my test case got failed from here so i'll quickly go over here i'll not waste my time right executing goal i'll just drag it to to this red part and we'll see my execution thing and if you want to see the console or if you want to inspect the element what you can do you can just click on this one so they have plain you can directly do directly do command shift and see and it will show you the network tab let's say if i want to inspect any element let's say i want to inspect for my account so you can see it is very easy you can inspect element also so after execution 
let's say your test case is not working and you are sharing this with your team member with your developer and if they want to debug more it's very beneficial for them it can have access to console logs you can have access to dom really amazing if your developers are checking or fixing progress right information which you provide it's not sufficient for them just by watching the video or screenshot if they want to access more let's say the console log or they want to check the element you can do it directly over right one of the amazing features which cypress has provided and if you want to see in, if you want to see the console you can see you can see the console also currently it is showing electron 106 because i've not passed any browser in my in my script so by default it runs on electron we know that right and it is so this is the case when we are running the web test case if you want to see for your api test case or for api test case as well let's go to let's go back to the project and let's run it for api test case what i will do i will just copy this comma i'll just open api project we have to copy this record key and we have to copy the project id so i'll just copy both of the things and i'll pass in my api project so let me open my api project so this is my api project what i will do i will just quickly go to cypress.config.js and over here i'll pass my project id and then we will go to pakistan.json and we will first of all we'll change the version to 13.0 and then in the script, I will create a new script. So I'll just create a new script. Let me pass it like this. And over here, let's create a new one. So I've already copied it quickly paste over here, right? So this is my script. And now if I run my test case, again, my API test case would also be executed on the Cypress dashboard. So it's not only for the web test case, it is there for web API and component test case. You can run any test case on your Cypress dashboard. So now let's remove this comma. Let's go to terminal and run the command npm run test. And then it will be executed on your Cypress dashboard. Fine. So with, with Cypress dashboard, you can actually record your test and run in parallel or there's many benefits. So we'll see in the upcoming videos how we can run our test case in parallel using Cypress dashboard. So that is also one of the very good feature which Cypress provides. Let's see how we can run it on local machine and then check it on the Cypress dashboard. So in this, we have multiple test cases. That's why it's taking time. So we have around five test cases. We'll be running all your test cases and then loading all the Cypress. Okay, now we can see is this executed. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see the execution status for this. So we have this one, the, the first one, let's click on this one and we can see the test results. So in the test results, we'll see how many test cases are there for past and field. So we have multiple field test case as well. Let's click on this one. And now we'll see a test replay button because we upgraded the version to version 13. That's why we can see a test replay button. Now we want to see the test replay. We can see the test replay for this as well. So it's just an API call. So on the API call only, we can see on the left side on network calls because it's like on, on UI, when we try to click on the button or uh, load a page, there are many network calls, but then this is just a single API call, right? So we'll not have any network call in this case. And on the left side, you can see field test case and the field assertion. So say this is for the API test case and we saw for UI test case as well. So over here, we can see the output. We can see the screenshot also if you want to see the output. You see the proper logs. If you want to share this log with your member, with your developer, it's very helpful. And in the result, we can see 15 results. How many spec files were there? There were around five spec files, right? We have five test cases if I project. So let me show you in the project. So over here inside end to end, you see we have five test cases. Same thing we can see in the dashboard also. We have five spec files and how many test case got failed, how many got passed. We can see the whole status over and how many errors were there. There were four errors, right? What errors we got? Just showing you that also. So this is really amazing. If you're looking to integrate dashboard with your Cypress project, it's really helpful. And there are many features. If your management wants to come and see the dashboard and they can also see, you don't need to have any technical knowledge. They can just see if they want status of your test case. They can directly come over here and see the status. And if I show you again the web test case, let's go to the web test case. So you can see how many test cases were there, how many spec files were there. There were two spec files and we had one error. Right. No, this is a really helpful and test replay is really dangerous, I would say, because it gives you more control over debug dashboard. You can debug quickly and have access to the network and the control log. So if you're sharing it with your, your team member developers, if they want to debug more around it, they can do it quickly. Right. So you can access it for multiple attempts also. Let's say you have done the retry and you are retrying it for three times. You can do that also. So yeah, this is for the web test case and we saw for API test case also. Right. So we have API, we have 
covered web also and in over here we can see test replay button also there's one more thing in the test replay if you want to change the speed so they have also provided this one let's say you want to debug it but uh, currently it's running quite fast if you want to change the speed you can change that also it will it's really helpful while debugging so it's it will be running a bit slow so that you can see everything and you can debug it properly yes you can change the speed you can share the replay link also with your team so this is really amazing and uh, this is really a good feature provided by cypress if you are looking to use test replay you have to upgrade your version you have to upgrade your version to cypress 13 you have to upgrade the version to cypress 13 and it's only applicable for chromium based browser as of now so it's not applicable for other browsers they have made it available only for the chromium based browser so i hope you like the content and i'm sure it will be useful for you if you are looking for something like this for a debugging tool and uh, i would say you just upgrade your version to 13 you don't have to do anything else it's just it comes by default in the cypress dashboard no extra configuration is to done today we saw about uh, the cypress dashboard how we can configure cypress dashboard and how we can run our api test case and the web test case on cypress dashboard thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel 